on this week's very special episode. We look at the three biggest assholes in cinema history. You don't want to marry me. And try to figure out who the worst is. Everyone go. Stick around, you don't want to miss this fucking episode. I'm not drunk again. I'm reloaded. Makes sense. From is a kid in Warford, running from the sun. You don't have to worry. What do you say, you bunch of clown punches? So we have a bit of a different episode today. Instead of three scenes from one movie, we're going to do one scene from three different films and try to figure out who the biggest asshole in cinema history is. All right. Our three suspects are Jenny from Forrest Gump. Oh. Uh-huh. Oh. Grandpa from Willy Wonka. Oh. And Rose from Titanic. You're going to die an old, an old lady. Wow, I knew the first two, but I didn't see that one coming. Why? You'll see. Relax. Okay. So I don't really need to spend ten minutes on this cum receptacle. <coughs> if you followed me for any length of time, you know I despise her. If not, go back and watch the Forrest Gump episode or Grandpa Joe vs. Jenny episode of Reloaded. Good times. So in summary, Jenny, over the year, uses her simple friend Forrest whenever she's in trouble. And he's such a great guy, he bends over backwards for her. Sure, she throws him a bone with some titty action. (laughs) And letting him drop the sperm squadron into her hatch. In the end, she drops off little Forrest to her. In all fairness, we do believe it's his kid. Yeah, I trust her as much as I trust Casey Anthony babysitting. But sure, we can play. Six Sense Kid is Forrest. Anyway, this guy who has stumbled and bumbled his way to riches now has to raise this kid because she diseased herself with needles and love injections to the point she dies. Pretty good summary, Tom. I try. Well, although there's a bunch of scenes with her being a complete asshole, she throws him a mercy fuck. Jenny... Then takes off in the morning to probably go get high and railed by the local football team, the hockey squad, and the local chapter of the Black Panthers. I had a fight in the middle of your Black Panther party. I will give an asshole rating, and then you will. We'll combine the two, and whoever gets the most at the end wins the biggest asshole. One to five? Let's go one to ten. It's a special episode. Okay. For Jenny, I'm going to say 8.5. She treats Forrest like shit, but, and you will hate me for saying this, I think deep down she cared about him. She was just kind of selfish. Wow. While I don't hate you, I'm going to give that dirty bitch a perfect 10. Did somebody named Jenny just screw you over? Well, sure, but it has nothing to do with it. I can see your point that she may care for him, but this greedy piece of shit also knows how much he loves her and uses him. She want to Grandpa Joe? Me. Yes, another world-class asshole. This guy is laid in bed with apparently a weird West Virginia-style fucking orgy going on with family members for years. I assure you, while Charlie is gone, they're doing geriatric foursomes. Oh, Tom. Well, he can't let the outside world know, or they'll cut off his fucking assistance. But the second he's offered a lifetime of fucking chocolate, it must have been just what the doctor ordered. Nothing. Because he breaks into song and dance. Good morning! Well, they they get there and he does watch kids probably being murdered by Oompa Loompas. He's blocking all the chocolate. Oompa dee doompa, I've got another puzzle for you. All he cares about is getting in that fucking finish line. I just wanted to ask about the chocolate. Uh, The lifetime supply of chocolate for Charlie. Don't forget about him molesting that other lady. Look here, Wonka! Excuse me, question time will come at the end of the session. We must press on. So Grandpa Joe is getting a 9.5 from me. You're a crook. You're a cheat and a swindler. That's what you are. How can you do a thing like this? Complain all you want, old man. The only reason you didn't get top asshole in my book because of how much I fucking hate that bitch Jenny. If we could vote by cunt hairs, she's got you by two asshole. While he used Charlie so we could get his chocolate, I got a golden ticket. he wasn't toying with the boy's emotions. Or may- maybe he was, I don't know. I'm giving him a nine. He's taking advantage of the little kid. That's worse on my book. So nine. Nine asshole for me. Okay, we haven't talked about the whore yet, Rose from Titanic. <laughs> 
Oh, that's a bit harsh, isn't it? No. She has a rich bitch boy toy, but she wants to slum on a vacation across the Atlantic. So she puts out and her vagina makes you fall in love. Till the slightest sign of trouble. Then while they're freezing in the water, although she's up on top, Jack's dumbass lets go. There was plenty of room. I know. Yet this selfish bitch, whose vagina was apparently cooled off by the water, didn't care. I'm gonna play devil's advocate here. He could have just said screw it and stayed aboard. Hell, he could have stuck his ice cold pecker in her, saved a little room by ramming it in her ass just like he did in that car, and saved both their lives. But, gentlemen. Okay. I'm gonna just say seven on her. The movie itself sucked balls. I only wanted to see the ship sink, and I sat through like three fucking hours for 14 minutes in a movie. She fell in love, so maybe the cold got to her. Well, I hope the selfish bitch feels wonderful about the decision the rest of her life. I'm giving her an eight. Fuck all three of these cocksuckers. You got one who is taking more dick than a porn star. One who was only lazy till it meant lifetime of chocolate. I hope somebody called fucking unemployment on his ass. He spends the rest of his life in jail. After that little song and dance, then the bitch who wants the whole raft to herself. They can all kiss my lily white ass. Tell us how you really feel. I think this was very therapeutic. Good way to get a lot of this shit off my chest. Yeah, I see a real change. Lick my balls. So what's next? I don't know. Star Wars sequels? Since you said last week that's what we were going to fucking do, but we did this special episode. Yeah, let's dive into those motherfuckers. But I really need this, John. Thank you. See you next week. Bye-bye.